Hey, and good morning. I'm Angela, and I'm here with Omoon. We're sharing insights and wisdom from Omoon, and today we're talking about coherence. Now, coherence is a really interesting topic because it has us asking the question, are your words and actions and deeds in cohesive and alignment with your life? So please help me welcome Omoon. Hi, Omoon. How are you today? Good morning. It's just a beautiful day. Not to get too trapped up in the inertia that you keep doing things the same way over and over again and resist change that might come up on the horizon. I see that as like the domino effect. If we get up every day and we have a series of dominoes that we stack together, and these would be little tiny minute habits that build on top of each other, when it's a series of dominoes that then get you to the end result, I think you have the power of inertia behind you, but then when you can stand back because the inertia is doing its own thing after you hit that first domino, you can then tweak each of the little dominoes as needed to make those necessary changes. You talked about having the support system that will guide you and that will have your back if things change. And I find that it's so tiny, but by creating all those little dominoes and creating that inertia, what happens is... When something malfunctions, like I woke up on the wrong side of the bed and I was like, I'm going to burn this out in the swimming pool. By the time I leave that locker room, I'm going to be in a good mood. If it kills me, this lady comes over to me and she said, are you doing okay today? And I felt her support. Cool. We don't go through life alone. You talk about being in coherence with the world around us. When we just annihilate the world by staying glued toward our devices or our, our smartphones and we don't talk to people and we don't interact. I think we end up ruining a lot of that coherence. When you are in alignment, you attract all of these things together that start coming into fruition. Inertia can work for us or against us, and we need to be really sensitive to that. Sometimes we have really good habits. We eat the right foods. We get up early and we exercise. We go to the gym. If we create a habit that really supports what we're trying to accomplish, those are pieces in that puzzle to make the, the picture really clear. We need to encourage that, but we also need to self-reflect and see the habits that don't support us. Sometimes we have good habits and bad habits, and they both have inertia. We want to put inertia behind our good habits, and we want to take inertia away from our bad habits. Unless we take the time to actually sit down and become mindful and meditate and look at things, analyze things, Sometimes a lot of things go under the carpet that we really don't identify and work on. We have many traits. How many traits do we actually identify and work on? The average person probably has traits that they could really improve on. Sometimes we have good traits that we should amplify and be more of whatever we are. I can sit in my study and study for a long period. In fact, my wife wanted to spend some time with her sister. And they were gone for four days. And in those four days, I never left the house. I was working on projects by myself and I was totally content. So sometimes we have habits that don't really work in our behalf. If we want to be a social person and have friends and interact with people, sometimes we need to realize that and get out of our comfort zone and interact with people. And you build a support system and that makes you more coherent. If you don't do that, you're more incoherent. We need to start looking at everything as to whether or not it's coherent in our lives because our life will just be richer and more full and we will be more successful in what we're trying to accomplish. We'll have stronger relationships, better families if we're coherent and we can see those clear pictures of what we're trying to accomplish. Thank you so much for joining us. This is from the Insights and Wisdom of O Moon. I want to encourage you, if you haven't already got your copy, this is part one of two in a series in the Insights and Wisdom of O Moon. That's it for today. And we'll see you guys again when we join together with O Moon and we cover the next topic in the Insights and Wisdom of O Moon.